Hi, I'm Michelle, this is Heartbeats, and today I'm talking to Greg Watson and I'm Chick Nanny's band and we're talking all about drumming, so I hope you guys enjoy. Drummers aren't really soloists, you know, they don't just go yeah. on their own. So how do you handle always being in a group of musicians? Do you like it? What are the challenges and the benefits? Uh, luckily I jam with guys that uh, like to do a lot of improv. Mm, mm. So there's a lot of time for me to show off when I have to show off because we're having fun really. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's also, once again, dependence on the music. So if there's mm. a time for me where there's a space where I can actually make something stand out, then, yeah. then I'll do that. Otherwise, it's just too much music. Yeah. Hi, Michelle. Hi. What is your creative process? I didn't know I had one. <laughs> <laughs> like when you... Uh, okay, well, do you ever just compose music for yourself? Uh, well, I play guitar, bass, and all those good things, a bit of piano, so I used to. Um, I actually was in a technical death metal band, and I wrote all the songs for that. I was just sit down and jam, mm. uh, write stuff out, start with drums, uh, try something new, you get an idea, and you just... Yeah, you get like inspired yeah. by something you've heard, yeah, or... Yeah, that's exactly it, or try to learn a song or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> uh, who do you admire for their musical ability? That's a long list. I mean, you guys are just changing to you, but um, As a drummer. As a drummer. Mm. Uh, two of the guys that are like, are, I'm loving them at the moment is uh, one guy called Matt Gasker, he plays for a band called Animals with Leaders. Mm. And then another drummer called Matt Halpin, he plays for a band called Periphery. Mm. Uh, it's a uh, heavier side of music, but they are groundbreaking. They are doing amazing things behind drums. And a guy called Eric Moore. Mm -hmm. he's, got, he's a gospel drummer, but he mm. plays in a band, a thrashable band called Suicidal Tendencies. That's <laughs> 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 oh my word. <laughs> Paradox, yeah. Oh, cool, man. Why did you get a diploma in music production? Why did you choose to do that? Uh, mostly because of drumming. I got into music, loved music, wanted to work in the music industry. Mm. Uh, so I decided to study sound, and that's how I got into that. Uh, and I liked studio work because uh, the, the drum academy I was in was in a studio. Mm. So I spent a lot of time there, like I'd just go for a weekend and hang out in the studio with the guys and I, yeah. I loved what they were doing. Mm. So that's how I got into studio work. Mm. And then I decided just to study it. So. <laughs> yeah, no, I love it as well. It's pretty awesome. I mean, uh, currently you're working with Serge Sound. Yes. What is the favourite part of the job for you? Mm. <laughs> Probably doing the system tech jobs every now and then that we do, like we did a Lando Stadium not long ago, that was quite fun. It was a lot of hard work, but when the PA's up, it's like, mm. it's nice. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that that would probably be the favorite is actually when the PA's up and you can hear it very, very loud. Like, totally, yeah. <laughs> Transforms the space. <laughs> is there another subject or skill that you'd like to learn? Never really thought about that. Uh, I'm quite content in my ways. So. <laughs> You're doing everything that you're interested in right now. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Uh, mm -hmm. Living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't, uh, don't really. This because I uh, even like sport-wise, I'm not the biggest sportsman. But the sports that I do like, I play. So it's fine. Like golf. So. I would never imagine you in a golf course. I used to play South African Junior League. What? <laughs> oh my word! <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool, okay. All right. <laughs> Where would you like your musical journey to go? I'm not sure, actually. Because um, the, the, the scene in our country for the, the genre I'm into is very small and niche. Mm. So uh, I'm, I'm happy I know all the dudes that you know me. I'm, mm. I'm fine with that. So I'd like to play one of the festivals maybe one day. Like, oh. which fest? I'd like to play mm. which fest. An international festival, anything like that? I'd love to go to Bach and Bach in Germany. Mm. About 60,000 people. <laughs> I'd love to do that, play mm. that. Mm. That'd be fun. But yeah, I, um, I don't know, I, I just like, I, I, it's all self enjoyment, I guess, that I do this, mm. that I've been doing this. So mm. Not really worried about other stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, that's perfect. <laughs> How does it feel to take someone else's role in a band? You know, that's already been set up and then now you're the new drummer. Oh, yeah, um, 
it's I've only done that once, and that's with my Thrashnal Band at the moment, Arcs. Um, it's been interesting because I have to learn all the parts, and there's things mm. that I would have liked to have done differently, drumming-wise. Yeah, yeah. So obviously I can add my own flavor here and there, but I have to keep... To they, what they've yeah, already they've got done. three albums out, so you have to kind of... Oh, you got to play up. those old songs as old yeah, fans. Yeah, That's So hard. It's, it's, it's not hard in that sense because it's just learning something, but there's no creative process for me mm. as of yet. They're good guys and the music's cool, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One day I'll hopefully write some stuff with them. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What I'm into is, I'm into linear patterns at the moment, so where each limb is doing its own thing at a different time, so okay. it's going Okay, Let's cool. See, um... <laughs> cool. That kind of stuff is cool. Uh... Hey, hey. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> <laughs>